Hey guys, today I thought I would reorganize some of my shelves. My bookshelves have been the same for a few months now and it's getting to the point where I need to reorganize it. I think it's kind of a mess right now. There's a lot happening and I think it would be best if I just kind of took all of my books out, cleaned the shelves, put them all back in maybe a different way than I did before. Um, just because the way that they're currently organized is not like the most effective way to get to all of my books and I think part of the reason is because I have so many it's hard to like organize them in a way that makes it easy for me to like pick out my next book so I will take you along at that journey and uh, maybe give you a little tour at the end so yeah stick around and that is what we are spending our day doing today so these bookshelves are really near and dear to me because they are actually a gift and sort of like a project. So this past summer, my boyfriend got me a bunch of milk crates and we built this bookshelf together um, because he knows how much I love reading. And so I really cherish this bookshelf and I'm so excited to see how I decide to organize it in the future and see what decorations and things like that we can add to it. So thank you so much for coming along this journey with me and I'm so excited. Okay, I've separated all of my books into different piles with the exception of a few that I'm leaving on my shelves. Basically, the first one is going to be my Sarah J Mass shelf. This shelf is going to basically just have all of my Sarah J Mass books. Um, I'm not sure which shelf yet, but I will tell you once I find the one that I want. Um, the next I have are series that are hardbacks. Um, I really don't have a lot of these just because I tend to collect series in uh, paperback. And these are technically both standalones, but they kind of are working in the same universe, so I'm just keeping them together. Um, and then Shadow and Bone, I only have the first one in hardback. And the next I have are series in paperback. I have many more of these. Um, unfortunately, I really don't have a lot of like complete series. I just have books within the series, so I'm hoping to change that soon um, for Christmas, but we'll see. Then over here, I have standalones in hardback. I have a good amount of these ones. And then over here, I have oh, Peep Zendaya in the background. <laughs> and then over here, I have standalones that are in paperback. And I also have a lot of those. Two, I'm also keeping my Harry Potter shelves pretty much the same, just because I don't really have anywhere else to put them. And I think they look fine here. So these ones are going to stay right here. And then above, I'm going to do some reorganizing with my classics and nonfiction shelves. Um, along with my poetry and I'm going to try and add my graphic novels up there as well and then um, I'm going to keep my little holly black display up I just still think this one looks really cute and then other than that I have my lemony snicket and like children's books on these bottom shelves too um, and yeah so that's pretty much it for uh the, the books that I'm keeping on my shelves. Oh, also all of my like bigger books that are kind of bulkier. They're just gonna stay here because there's nowhere really else to put them. So yes. Okay, so I ended up combining my shelf that has my Sarah J. Mass books um, with the shelf that has my hardcover fantasy novels only because this is the only way that I was really able to fit everything and have it look somewhat cohesive. So I'm gonna run into an issue when I get my first um, a Court of Thorns and Roses book back and to when I add on to my Throne of Glass and Crescent City um, series. So I think when that time comes, I'll just have to invest in a bigger crate solely for Sarah J Mass books. But for the time being, this works. Um, to the right, I have created a little um, graphic novel slash nonfiction slash biographies slash classic shelf. <laughs> this basically has um, all of those. On it along with my uh my body by emily radikowski displayed since i love this book so much um, and at top i just have some of my little comic book collections now this does not include the 50 other comic book collections i own these are ones that are either story based or like series um so i have those ones here and then i go from like screen plays to plays to poetry to non-fiction biographies all the way to classics so that's how that shelf looks down below i have all my harry potter to the left of that i have the hardcover uh fantasy books with the exception of these two then to the left of this i have my other little collection of books that are you know bigger ones that i'd love to display one day uh, below this on the next shelf, I have all of my paperback standalone books along with um, the two that I'm currently uh, 
one that I'm currently reading and one that I haven't started yet. I kind of took a break from House of Leaves just because it's so dense and I like really need to like sit down and read it all in like one day or at least attempt to. Um, so that one's going to be a challenge for sure. Then I just have Circe by Madeline Miller that I'm hoping to get to soon. And then the rest are just ones that I've either read. Um, yeah, I think I've read all of these except for Swallow, which I hope to get to soon as well. Then to the left of this, I have um, two shelves that have my uh, paperback series along with my annotating pencil case. You can go check out the video that I filmed um, about how I annotate my books if you're interested. So basically, I just have my Cassandra Clare, my uh, Jennifer L. Armentrout, uh, Lee Bardugo, Hunger Games Divergent, all of that good stuff. Um, and then beneath this, I just have all of my favorite children's books. So yeah, that is the current state of the shelves. I'm going to do a little bit of redecorating now at the top because that's kind of a mess up there. And then yeah, I'll show you once I finish that. Okay, so here's what I've come up with. I'm leaving my little uh, Cruel Prince display alone because I think this is really cute. I did clean out this plant and I found a little stem that was growing behind uh, all of the other dead stuff. So that's a nice little surprise. Oh uh, yeah, so my little sheep is going to stay and this little plant's going to hopefully grow if I learn not to neglect it. Um, and then over here I have my book bag. I recently got this um, for Christmas and I have a bunch of little book and BCS pins <laughs> that I just have on this and I, this is going to be my bag when I go to like coffee shops and libraries and stuff like that. So I just have that hanging up on this little rack up here. And then over here, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with it yet. I basically just put down some of my old flower vines that were hanging. And basically my plan for this right now is to buy a few of those little book stands. And then I'm going to display some of my favorite books on top. And hopefully that'll give it a cute little like forest vibe and it'll be a cute little display. So that's the plan at the moment. I will update you on any other uh, changes that I want to make. And I think that that's where we're headed right now. I just super quickly wanted to run through um, some new additions to my shelf. I just got The Wicked King for Christmas. And then I also got uh, The Projects by Courtney Summers for Christmas as well. And so I've decided to display that. But other than those two new additions, everything else is the same. And I think those are my completed bookshelves. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this little bookshelf reorganization tour. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make, and I will see you next week.